So today we finally get to see just how filthy the Gdansk is going to be in ranked. Yes, with update 12.6 releasing here, that means anybody can grind up to the Gdansk. And oh boy, this is going to be absolutely terrifying for the ranked queue. Having this 12 kilometer radar, sure it doesn't last, sorry, 9 kilometer radar, 12 seconds. I got the numbers mixed up there. Uh, is pretty disgusting. This is a Mogador with a 3.1 second reload. And that's before we even use something like Fearless Brawler or Adrenaline Rush. <laughs> and you got yourself a radar to deal with anyone trying to outspot you. That's just not going to work against this ship. So ranked is going to be pretty difficult against this thing. Um, <laughs> I thought I found it really strong in randoms. And oh my goodness, it's going to just absolutely destroy ranked. So let's take it out for a spin here in ranked mode. Uh, see how it does. I really do think you guys should all be trying to grind this ship if you're looking for a strong DD because it's a monster. So of course, when it comes to playing the Gdansk here, we definitely want to be finding destroyers and killing them very, very quickly. So we're going to flank on this one. This map here is pretty decent for us in this case. Oh, it's even a Holland in B. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, alrighty then. Vampire 2 out here. Let's get ourselves a bit of speed boost going on. And just run at this Holland real quick. We have the speed. We have some pretty decent gun power. 3.8k there. Um, I guess torpedoes might be a bit of an issue. We better not eat those. That'd be a little sad. Let's see. All right. Spotted. Radaring. <laughs> so, if they open up on you, you get to just hide away from them like this and it's pretty filthy my arcs are just so much better so that's how you just win fights in this thing to be fair this holland's done a pretty good job but yeah quite difficult against a ship like this one if i could aim at least there go Uh, come on, game. Let's hit. Oh, that fire is disgusting. <laughs> Alright, that should be him dead. Great. So, DD dead. Lost a bit of HP there. We don't have the saturation of the French DDs. We don't get ourselves a heal. I think using the smoke is pretty good in a lot of these... By the way, our radar is back up. <laughs> yeah, the cooldown's ridiculous on it. It's pretty insane at these kinds of things. Since you basically have the speed to match a lot of these French DDs, Russian DDs, that kind of thing, and you don't have their weakness. You don't have to deal with getting outspotted. It's pretty crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. Good luck dealing with these things in ranked. I think the counter might be just a French DD or a Russian DD that has a heal or has the damage saturation to deal with these things. Um, other than that, it's it's going to be terrifying. Any sort of, you know, torp boat, like a Summers and that. You know, if, if you're that Holland player, for example, let's just talk about that for a minute. You just can't. You just can't open up. Um, you have to be able to disengage. The radar does only last that 12 seconds, and you do definitely want to make use of the short duration to avoid it as much as you can. And we get the vampire as well. <laughs> 42,000 damage done to only destroyers this game. Yeah. And we took, what, uh, 
15k in return. Vampire's new, no slouch either. Um, yeah, it's just not an even fight. That's that's really what it comes down to. It's one of those situations where they overdid it with this ship, man. It did not need a radar at all, I don't think. Or maybe it needed some other weaknesses. Just a little too much. And of course, don't forget, we have the ability to farm as well. Let's use our engine boost here a little bit. Get in range of the Schlieffen a little more. And then we just have a, what? Two second reload on seven guns here. Yeah. It looks like we have a reload booster up on our Mogador at the moment. If I had to compare it to anything, and yet this is just our permanent DPM. Getting some fires would be pretty nice here. There we go. And we get a smoke too. Just in case someone decides to shoot at us. I don't want to eat extra damage from this Schlieffen. That's really the only reason I did that. With him turning away though, we can maybe push towards sea a little bit more here. Yeah, I was worried about the Salem potentially turning in also. But since he's not, we're all good. There we go. Now he's stuck on the border, so he can't run any further. That's nice. Let's see, how's his lead? Well, pretty quick. It's actually not bad. But yeah, leading leading airstrikes like that, pretty difficult. Fires. Fires game? I guess we have to hit. There we go. No, we need our engine. We definitely need the engine. Double fire. That's very good. There's a high cal even. Well, he does have his damage control up. Got the relight right away. That's very good. And poor Guden with his dispersion. He probably should be hitting me here, but that is one of the weaknesses of the Dutch line. Potentially, that new premium, whatever it's called, the tier 9, maybe, maybe good for that. But 102 there. But yeah, you just absolutely decimate DDs. It's crazy. So getting into our second game here, we're definitely going to have to be a little more careful around something like a Druid here. Pretty scary target to go after for us. So there are some ships we got to be careful of, but, you know, there is another Holland. And something is in B pretty early here. Haven't been spotted yet, though, so that's nice. Launch a few Torps out there. Ohio and Schlieffen on their team are both going that way, so it does make me think probably have a free sea cap here. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see. But using the speed to flank early is always very nice. Ooh, a Zao. Okay. Possibly more here than we think. It was the Druid there. All right. Now we just need to keep an eye out for the A cap. If the A-cap gets contested, then we know where the Holland is. Otherwise, it might be out here. He could be out here, and Druid's probably coming through this gap. And Schlieffen pushing mid. All right. Ooh, my speed boost is out. So maybe, maybe you don't want to be using your speed boost to get into these caps early, and we'll see. Gonna make this turn. No, it's only the Zao. I should have been spotted by the Holland if he was here, right? Enemy 
Agafar spotted. No, oh, he is here? Unless that's Druid already, which it could be. Definitely could be Druid already. Gotta be careful. Do have a good near to help us. Alrighty. What do we got? Yep, they are both here. So, what we gotta do against a druid is we just can't let him AP us. Like, get full pens, I mean. So, we just angle. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. In fact, we do have a smoke. You need to remember that. Although unfortunate, he does as well. So fair enough. <laughs> but it does mean we might actually get the drop on a Holland out here. Hopefully the enemy Schlieffen goes down. Our Schlieffen kind of messed up. They playing a little too aggressive, I'd say. Maybe theirs will get punished for that as well. Two DDs is always difficult, though, to deal with. So we're not trying to isolate the fights. That's kind of the idea here. Don't have a smoke anymore, but our radar is back up, which is again, just insane to have that kind of cooldown on it. So what I'm gonna try and do is fight this Holland out here somewhere. Actually, yeah. Certainly a possibility. All right, Mr. Gooden, gonna need a little support here. Okay, we definitely need our guns. Not the best trades, but that's okay. It happens. Still detected here. Okay, a little awkward that way. Us being able to kite here is really, really valuable compared to being caught bow in, forced to turn weird broadside to a druid, for example. He's smoked up here. So where's the Holland? There he is. Okay. Sure. Try and get some chip damage in. Unfortunately, it looks like we will be losing our good in here. Maybe not. And we'll also try and help on killing this Darren, Druid here. Oh, just low. Just low. So, Druid is getting low. He's definitely getting low. Although we just ate a Zao Salvo. That sucks. The rowers need a break. Should have noticed that he wasn't shooting at the Guden shooting at me. Fair enough. This Holland's got a lot of HP yet. All right, we'll rep that for now. More than likely, the Holland does come after us here since we are so low. I kind of want to encourage that. I want to see if I can see what I can do here. Maybe dump torps this way. Oh, the other ones are broken. No, it looks like he went around. Okay. Yep. Gotta watch for Druid now. He could have pushed in towards us. Although it's also possible he's going towards the B cap to deal with our Shimo or something like that. Gotta dodge the Zao Salvo. Didn't quite manage it. Greedy damage, control that fire, why not? Holland's getting very low. Just so far away at this point. Interesting that we're not detected here. Very interesting. So Druid's nowhere near us. Okay, this could have gone much worse. That is a very difficult uh, thing to deal with. Fortunately, we had the Guden with us. Otherwise, they would have just rushed me off the map. Don't really have much choice. We have to charge, basically. 
It's unfortunate, but that's how it's going. Looks like he made that turn back. Interesting. Oh, the full pens. Gotta avoid them. Okay, technically alive. But there's a Holland literally right here. So we probably just die to that. Did I get those off? Ah, I didn't. Too bad. Yeah, you're not gonna win every game, but as you can see, I think it's very clear to see just how insanely strong this thing is. On to our third game here, and we got ourselves Vampire 2 and Clabert to deal with. It's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a very, very tough one, I think, but we can manage. We'll have to rely on some team support though, certainly. I want you to notice, though, that B is not being capped by the enemy team yet. <laughs> Wonder what that means. Maybe that the Vampire and the Kleber are both here? Certainly could be. Alrighty, where are they capping from? Right there. Schlieffen's got the full charge on. Yeah, okay, so they're right there behind that island. Those Torps might be really, really good. Just gotta wait and see. But that's why I'm going passive here. Oh, they're in B now, okay. GK and Schlieffen. Okay, not the best trade, but to be fair, both of their DDs were here, so I don't think it's that bad. Certainly could have been worse. Yep, those are the Kleber Torps. Let's try not to eat those, although we might. Just barely dodge those, okay. Oh, we would outrun them, actually. We're fine. So, tricky game here, but we didn't die to the gank here. Hopefully our team can do all right. But this is, this is gonna be challenging. A lot of backup here for the enemy team. Actually just gonna put those right there. Let's see, how close is he? Might be able to radar that. Possible. Get a little chip damage in. So we'll go right about here and then try it out. Definitely get spotted for it if we shoot. There, there. Remember, Vampire does not get a heal. So any damage you're dealing to him is permanent, right? It's really, really important to keep in mind. Also, a Kleber here is charging us, so let's actually turn our guns to the other side. Because we don't want to be broadside to all these guys when we get into a fight with this Kleber. And I'm trying to use the islands as much as I possibly can. I'm trying to wait out the time as much as we possibly can here.
Oh, come on, dispersion. He gave up? Why isn't he shooting? Somebody got a fire at least. That's really good. Tricky stuff dealing with two DDs here. No heal, no gimmick when it comes to our saturation, right? Like that's what the Clobert is going to be really, really good at is you can play super aggressive and then not take as much damage thanks to your saturation mechanics. Take less damage once the areas of your ship have taken enough to deplete that of HP. Don't have that here. But we've actually done an all right job. Vampire 2 and Kleber are two of the scariest ships to deal with, keep in mind. Very, very difficult. So for us to be doing this well, I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, can I get over this? Yes, I think we should be able to. There we go. The rovers need a break. Might smoke up, might not, we'll see. There we go. GK is looking our way. We'll use our speed to hopefully dodge. And then Schlieff and Torps actually probably pick him up. We have the B cap already, which is really, really good. Yeah, okay. GK's done. Very nice. Tricky game, though. Tricky game. Sure, vampire. Not gonna keep spotting, so it's okay. Alrighty, Mr. Vampire. We found you. Got a lot of our team backing us up here, too. Yeah, there we go. Schlieffen's grabbed it. Very nice. It's a strong ship, man. It does have its weaknesses, to be fair. We haven't, like, face rolled people uh, outside of that first game. But that's where I kind of say you need you need something else that has the DPM, at least some of the time DPM on Kleber's reload booster. You need something that can withstand multiple engagements uh, better than this ship. So not having heal, not having uh, saturation mechanics like the French do. Those kinds of things are kind of required to counter this thing. But, man, against most of the destroyers you're going to face at this this tier, it's very, very strong. Oh, do we even get some torps in here? Nice. They're not the best torps. Oh, the range! They ranged out. No. Sadness. But having a smoke here is just amazing because we just wait for our team to spot this guy, which they should be doing at this point, I think. Yes. And there we go. Just grab ourselves a smoke, and we can farm like a hybrid DD would. It's kind of interesting having this, where, you know, it's a Marceau hull, Marceau kind of guns, right? So having that option is just kind of weird. I'm not used to that. All right, he's used his damage control, so hopefully we can grab ourselves fire here. Smoke even lasts quite a while. I got a minute 20 on this smoke. There we go. There's one fire. And the sustained DPM too. You don't rely on a reload booster or something like that, right? I'm greedy. This is just not me sure. <laughs> There's three. Come on, give me the fourth. <laughs> oh, he's got his damage gun again, no. Alright, we'll try again, we'll try again. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's right, Schlieffen definitely has some torpedoes. Can we avoid? Yes, we can. Just barely. I think that's good enough. We even ran up against some of the ships that I was going to be a little worried about, you know? It's that's kind of nice. We didn't just face roll, you know, gearings and shimakazes or Z52s, you know. We ran we ran up against the problem potential ships like a Kleber or a Druid, right?
Um, Vampire 2, I wouldn't see as too much of a problem. Um, sure, that smoke is pretty strong in the hydro, but our radar popping and just negating that smoke for 12 seconds and his inability to heal is uh, not making him as strong as a daring would be. A daring having that heal would mean multiple engagements over time would just wear this ship out because the heal will sustain the, the daring. Um, Ragnar... Ragnar might do pretty good against this ship. It'd do pretty good, I think. The armor here, 25 millimeters, is pretty strong. Considering we only get 23 mil pen on these guns, definitely makes it a pretty strong candidate to counter this ship. So it's not maybe as all powerful and OP as it could have been, uh, but it's pretty close. I, I really do believe the radar just giving it its this amazing ability to totally get rid of one of the weaknesses of gunboat DDs, which is getting out spotted, right? How do you deal with that as a Kleber? Well, either you have to rush the guy, maybe he's got support, you know, or you got to run away, you get pushed away. You can't take that chip damage from the enemy ships that are around. So this ship just lets you totally get rid of that advantage or disadvantage that you would have. It's very strong. So definitely, definitely look into grinding this one in uh, in this update let me know what you think in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed this one thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day